You know guys, I wouldn't be doing this shit if it wasn't important to me, you know, it's, it's just not worth it, it really isn't. Um, the way I'm feeling now is okay, but to think what I'll feel like after another three weeks straight of doing some pretty hardcore dieting, um, fuck, I'm going to look amazing, I hope, and really that's, that's what you get out of it, isn't it? I mean, I'm not doing it for the trophy, I'm doing it for the, for the way I'm going to feel at the end of it, having followed through with something, having gotten into the best shape of my life, finally, after fucking around for like years, saying I was going to do something and not doing it. Um, I'm just basically faced with the realities that are a comp prep. And obviously after this, I'm going to be able to reflect on it and give it, give a little bit of advice for people if they want it, or they'll be able to refer back to this video series, which is what I'm trying to put together. Like I'm trying to put together a cool set of videos following me to the stage for my first ever time. Who knows where I'm going to be in two years, five years, ten years, but I'm always going to be able to look back at this and reminisce on the times. Uh, of my first comp prep, so I'm right in the middle of it right now. It's crazy. But you can't predict the future. All you can do is do what you can in the now. And I don't know exactly what's going to come of this, this comp. I really don't. All I do know is something along the lines of what Greg Plitt said um, about you never know what opportunity is going to come up. You just need to train yourself and prepare yourself so that when they do you're prepared and you can take them make the most of the opportunities I think you know he's referring to being a fitness model in that particular video and basically he's saying that you never know what's going to happen you've got to be in shape all the time so that when the opportunity does come up boom you can get it like as far as an article goes or a shoot or something like that so that is what I'm going to get out of this. I'm going to get the awesome feeling of having followed through with something. I'm going to be in the best shape of my life. Hopefully, I might do well in a comp. Who knows? And God, the, the, the world's my oyster after that. I really don't know what's going to come after that. But that's the exciting thing is, who knows? But you just got to take the risk and do it. Because no one else is going to do it for you. That's for sure. Okay. Wow. I don't know how I got through that, but I did. So I just got my goodies, and I'll show you what I got. <laughs> I won't eat it all, but basically, as I said, I've gone for low carb, um, sorry, low fat, high carb things. As well as my protein source, which today is going to be two scoops of protein powder, and the rest of it come from chicken breast. First thing, I'm so glad I found these pikelets. Fucking love these things. We've got eight in a packet. Each pikelet has one protein, no fat, and 13 carb. So I don't know how many of those I'll have, but they're definitely fitting my macros. I got these. I looked at every single chocolate biscuit. There was nothing that was low fat enough, but I really like these anyway. So. The macros on these, uh, for two biscuits, you've got no protein, three fat, and 18 carbs. So I'll probably have at least six of those. I got one whole Kumara. I got a nice and round one with lots of skin because the skin is the most nutritious part and it's also the tastiest part. I love it. So I'm just gonna throw this in the oven by itself. It's actually 600 grams, which is probably a bit much. Um, so yeah, I might eat half of it, I might eat the whole thing, I don't know, but it's going to be delicious. I got these things, 
which I was eating when I first got here, but I cut back on them because I just had to. But um, today I'm going to eat them. So you get five balls, five little banana, date, and nut balls. They're delicious. And each one has one protein, two and a half fat, and six carb. So I don't know if I'll eat them or not. Actually, you know what? I will. Mm. Man, I'm hungry. Uh, well, Zach, I got some dates. Love dates. I got 100 grams exactly. Uh, I won't eat all of them. I'll probably eat half. But yeah, really low in fat, high in carb, obviously. And last but not least, we got some mixed berries. I haven't had mixed berries in weeks. I was eating them like every day and obviously yeah no protein no fat and just straight carbs so this whole well 500 grams is going to be like 38 grams of carbs so I'll, I'll eat this whole thing and I'll probably mix it with uh, cottage cheese and my protein powder for the day so that'll be a good meal and yeah that's pretty much it so uh I am going to enjoy today, I'm going to eat this food throughout the day, I won't show you it when I'm eating it, but what I will show you is the workout that I do today, which is a push day, I've got chest and shoulders, um, shoulders being playing up a little bit, just getting leaner and stuff, I can, you know, I can feel it now, you can really feel like the muscle and the fibres and stuff when you start getting leaner, and my shoulder's not perfect, so we'll see how that goes, but I'm pretty sure the pump's going to be epic, so... I will see you in the gym later on tonight. So, we're here, the news has come on, it must be 6 o'clock. And before I go to the gym, um, I, uh, I just want to talk about how today's gone. So, the, the huge struggle has been spacing out the carbs throughout the day um, before my training session because tonight I wanted to get some footage um, and so I'm not going to go into a gym when it's completely full so uh, probably nine o'clock or after and it's um, I bought the food at like, like lunchtime six o'clock now it's just been a real struggle not to eat it all at once you know I've probably eaten about 150 grams of carbs in the first hour so I, uh, I went actually for a little lay down I don't know if it was carb coma or what, I don't think it was because it wasn't even that many but I uh, had a bit of a, a nap for about an hour and a half and now I'm back up and feeling tired. <laughs> um, but yeah, about to probably have another 100 grams of carbs and then wait a couple of hours and then I'll be off to the gym. So. Yeah, the hardest thing's just been not eating at all. Um, but luckily this time I've gone out and bought all that stuff with a plan in mind. So I'm keeping to the plan rather than just having a refeed day or just like a not counting the calories or anything. So I'm definitely going to be staying under 3,000 calories for the day. Um, otherwise it's just too many. And I'll also be doing 500 calories cardio post weight training this evening just to... Once I've got the pump, once I see what I look like, that's what I really wanted to do this for, and then I'll be on to um, just the normal normal diet tomorrow, the next day, and then it'll be show day, baby. So, uh, I'll just catch up with a bit of news here. Wait for the sport. A bit of Shortland Street, home and away, something like that, and then it will be off to the gym. Make some gains. So it's quarter past eight and we are finally off to the gym. It's about time to see what these carbs have done for my strength and for my look. I'm at about 280 carbs right now. I've had pretty much that whole packet of biscuits. I've had all the pikelets, um, half the dates and the whole pack of those banana balls and a piece of chocolate. So uh, yeah, we're about to go. All right.
right, so the gym was absolutely packed tonight. I've never seen it that busy. And it's like, well, what is it? It's just after 10 now. It's empty now, but um, unfortunately couldn't get any footage, although the vascularity was was there. Um, but, oh man, my, my shoulder is seriously playing up, eh? So, like, the leaner I get, just the the less the less stability you, you have, you know? The less fucking meat you have around the joints, and it's just, it's, uh, it's not good. But I am taking a um, fish oil, but... Not sure if it's going to do too much now, but um, either way, cardio was a fail too. I just can't be fucked. Seriously, my <laughs> my phone ran out of battery and there was fuck all on the TV, and so I did 20 minutes and it was like 150 calories, like nothing. So this is it. Three days out tomorrow, we've got the wax and we've got the tan. Um, and I'm going to practice a pump up. So I'm going to borrow one of the um, the bands from Anytime Fitness and I'm going to take it with me to Wellington. And um, tomorrow night, I'm going to have a practice pump up to see how I get myself looking. So, because yeah, I don't want to be pumping up for the first time ever backstage before the show but one thing I am realizing is that my chest is flat man I I've got fuck all chest and these guys that get on stage in the IFBB they got massive chests like ridiculously and they're all pumped as fuck like mine looks like shit anyways going home now meal number five high in protein moderate fat low carb. I've already had my carbs for today. Catch up.